Welcome to LTHS Physics. Uh, right now, we are going to use conservation of energy along with um, voltage, aka electric potential, and the electric potential energy associated with that uh, to determine some properties of a particle moving around. So um, let me start with the, the setup of the situation. So let's say you've got two fixed point charges. One of them is positive and one of them is negative, okay? Uh, this guy will be 20 microcoulombs. This guy will be negative 10 microcoulombs. And we're gonna move a third charge from here, point A, to here, point B. And this problem is gonna, is gonna involve some numbers. So uh, for instance, we'll say this distance here is five meters. That distance there is two meters, and that distance there is three meters, okay? Now, the charge that we're going to move, little q, will be positive four microcoulombs, okay? Um, and let's say at this moment, he's already moving, okay? We're not just going to shove him stationary from A to B. He's, he's already moving. Matter of fact, we're going to throw him okay, from A toward B. And let's say at A, he's got kinetic energy. He's got 0.3 joules or 300 millijoules. And as he moves from A to B, I'm going to shove him a little bit. I'm going to push him even faster. I'm going to do some non-conservative work on him. That is 0.4 joules. Oh, and by the way, we are going to have to know his mass. Let's say his mass is... Um, 10 grams. Okay, so he's a relatively small thing, probably about the mass of one of these markers. Okay, um, so what I want to know is well, what we're going to determine uh, is the following, and this is going to be several things. Um, we're going to find the voltage at A, the voltage at B, okay, the change in voltage as he moves from A to B, which would be pretty easy to figure out. Um, the change in potential energy as he goes from A to B. Um, we're going to find the kinetic energy at B. And then finally, we're going to find the velocity at B. Okay, how fast is he going when he gets to B? So again, he's already moving at A. And as he goes from A to B, uh, we're going to do some work on him. Okay, well, we'll start in, with, with, in order. Uh, the voltage at A. Okay, so voltage that voltage at A is created by these two point charges. So voltage for a point charge is just kq over r. So we have to sum that not vectorally. The, there's no direction for voltage. What matters is the sign. So you have to keep track of signs. So um, the voltage created here by this dude is k, which we know to be 9 times 10 to 9th. I'm not going to write that down each time, but k times this charge, which is 20, times 10 to the negative sixth um, over, that is, A is 5 meters from him, plus K times this charge, which is negative 10, times 10 to the negative sixth, all over, that is 2 meters away from A. So the voltage at A is, and I'll save you the calculator work, you get 36,000 here minus... Um, 45,000 here, which is negative 9,000 volts, okay? Um, we're going to do the exact same thing at point B here. Um, the only tricky thing at point B is we know this distance is 3. This distance we have to actually determine using Pythagorean's theorem. Um, the cool part is the numerator stay exactly the same. It's the same two charges creating a voltage there. So the voltage at B is K times 20 times 10 to the negative sixth over 3 plus K times negative 10 times 10 to the negative sixth over, uh, how far is it from here to here? Well, if we Pythag, that's 7, that's 3. So four, you know, X squared plus Y squared is, is R squared. So uh, 7 squared is 49 plus 9 would be 58 root, root 58. Um, if you do the math there, 
this guy ends up being 60,000, and this guy ends up being negative, roughly 11,800 for a voltage of about positive 48,200 volts. So our voltage went from negative 9,000 to 48,000. So a couple notes about that. If this guy, I had to give him some energy to get to B. He doesn't want to go to B all on his own. He wants to get closer to this negative charge. We had to shove him toward B. We did two things to do that. We threw him, giving him an initial kinetic energy. And as he traveled from A to B, we also gave him a little shove on the way. So that's how he got from A to B. Now, uh, the next question is, um, what is change in voltage? Well, that's easy enough. Change in voltage is just VB minus VA, okay, which is 48,200 minus negative 9,000, which is 57,200 volts. So we increased our voltage by quite a bit. Uh, so we've got this, this, and this answer. Now for delta U. Delta U is simply Q delta V. Um, Q is 4 microcoulombs, so all i got to do is take this number times 4 times 10 to the negative 6. Um, I will spare you the calculator work on that. If you do that, you get about 0.229 joules or 229 millijoules. This is if you leave all the numbers in calculator, you get that. Okay, so we're, we're doing three sig figs on everything. Now, um, so now we've got this, 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 and this done. The kinetic energy at B. Well, just like with mechanics, if you got an object moving from point A to point B, one of the best ways to analyze that is conservation of energy. All right, so we're going to use our conservation of energy equation. Now, when we do that, though, we've got to be a little careful, okay? So we've got kinetic energy at A plus some potential energy at A plus some work done by a non-conservative force equals the kinetic energy at B plus the potential energy at B. Okay, I want this. I'm going to get it by itself, okay? So the kinetic energy at B equals the kinetic energy at A. I'll put this term next, plus work, non-conservative, plus UA minus UB. Okay, now let's think about this UA minus UB. What is that? Well, UB minus UA is delta U. So this is negative delta U. So the kinetic energy at B is the kinetic energy at A plus the work done by our non-conservative force plus negative delta U. Well, I got all those numbers, okay? Kinetic energy at A was 0.3, okay? The work done by our non-conservative force was 0.4. And then minus delta U, which we just got, was 0.229. So you now have the kinetic energy at B, which is uh, 0.471 joules. Okay. So by the way, his kinetic energy at A was 0.3. His kinetic energy at B is more than that, so he is sped up. He's going faster at B than he was at A. And that's, again, because we gave him a push on the way from A to B. Finally, what's his velocity? That's easy enough. Um, we know that kinetic energy at B is equal to 1 half mass velocity at B squared. So the velocity at B is the square root of 2 kinetic energy at B over m, square root of 2 times 0.471 over, now it's 10 grams, which is 0.01 kilograms. And the velocity at point B, and if you do the chugging in your calculator, you should get 9.7 meters per second, which is not very fast, but um, these are relatively big particle um, with not that much charge. So um, that's an example of using um, new stuff, voltage and electric potential energy in combination with old stuff. Whenever you got an object moving from point A to point B, usually your best bet is to use conservation of energy. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.